Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to do Stitch Fix for June. And I just got off of work, I went running, and I took a shower and I just threw on something. So sorry for my appearance. It is June Stitch <laughs> Fix. I am so excited, you guys. I hope this is a good one. It's summertime, and you know what that means. Good clothing. So, here's my box. It hasn't been opened. Got my scissors. Piper and Choppy are on the floor this time. I gave them their treats and they went straight for the floor. Mm. All right. Why when you want to do something quickly, you can never get it done? Uh-oh, I can tell already there's something extra in here. That's what it looks like. And for those of you who don't know what Stitch Fix is about, as always, you get a return envelope to put it in with postage on it. All you have to do is put your stuff in here, bring it to the post office, and it's ready to go. All right. And this is your style, like, checklist or things you can... They show you different ways you can style. Actually, I am so wrong. I'm so ahead of myself because I'm really excited. This is your little style booklet. And this is the receipt to tell you how much everything is. But we'll go through that when I'm all done. I'm going to show you what it looks like first. So here's everything. So I'm really excited. Let's start off with the package first. All right, I can already tell there's jeans in here. All right. What is this? So I, um, ooh, it's a dress. Really cute. I'm trying to see. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it kind of gathers right here. Can you see that? It's hard to tell because it's all the same material. And it's got slits on the side. It's really hard to tell. It's like a maxi. So it's super long and it's a tank style. All right. This is Ramona Knot Detail Knit Maxi Dress. And it's a navy. And I, um, they asked me, you know, is there anything that you want that we're not giving you. And I said, you know, it is summertime. I would like, I'm sorry, I'm watching Choppy. Come on, Chops. Come on. He lost his bone. It's summertime and I would like maxis. So there's a maxi for me. Top. Oh my gosh, this is really cute to me. Kind of that eyelet style. Really cute sleeves. You know, I'm not a fan of short sleeves, but it is summertime. Really cute. And then that's the whole top. Really cute. It's got little slits. No, oh, does it have slits? Yep, it's got little slits on the side. Here's the back. That is real cute. And it's by Pale Sky. And it's called the Kiara Eyelet Detail Top. And it's a white. And it's by Pale Sky. That's really cute. Can't wait to try that one on. Next, it looks like another dress. You know, is it a skirt or a dress? Okay, here's the top of it. And it goes all the way down. And then you've got this detail at the bottom. So I believe, um, can you see that? It's like a navy and a white. And there's the back. There's a little navy in between or like a lighter blue. So it's a navy, then white, and then a lighter blue, if you can see that. I believe it's a skirt. It's by Max Studio, and it's called a Hetty, Hetty Knit Maxi Skirt. So it is a skirt. Okay. Oh, no, I wasn't. 
Nah, I don't know, maxi skirts in the summer. You know, they used to be a hit a while ago, but mm, I don't know. Okay, jeans. They might be a type of capri. They got the frayed bottom. Kind of distressed, light colored. Yeah, they've got some distressing going on. Light colored, distressing a little bit on the pockets. Okay, DL1961. So, Mahara Farad Hem Straight Jeans. And their color is indigo. Hmm. I don't know about these. We'll try them on and see how they look. All right, so that's it for the clothing. So there was a dress, a top, a skirt, and a set of a pair of jeans. Excuse me. All right, so let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. They got a little zipper in the back. Open toe. Violet and red, that's what they're called. Kind of a, they don't really grip and they got just a little heel. And you know, if I'm gonna try them on, I gotta take this middle, this little thing that looks like a foot, gotta take that out of there. So now we can see it a little better. Okay. Get the other one out so we can See what we got here. So that's what they look like. Hmm. I don't know. If I was in a store, would I grab these? Probably not. But that's the deal of getting something like this sent to you. You try on stuff that you ordinate ordinarily would not try on. So I'm gonna try on this stuff and I'm gonna show you what I try. Well, you know, I try it on, you guys check it out, you tell me how you like it, and I say yay or nay, right? Like, I go through this for almost a week. Like, you're supposed to send it back within so many days. If you need more time, you can tell Stitch Fix that you need more time. I always end up pondering way, way too long about this stuff. Because it's your money. You want to know if everything you've gotten from them is something you like, and if not, you're going to send it back. So it takes a little bit more than just try on and send back sometimes. Okay, enough of me jabbering. Let's go try some stuff on. Okay, you guys. First outfit. It's the maxi dress. And I know I've told him I don't like my arms out all the way. I don't mind like a little flutter sleeve or something that halfway covers it. But I don't like a total sleeveless top. And this part is cute right here, but it makes me look very matron matronly. Did I say that right? It does have a high slip, but it does nothing for me. Like, this is nothing I would buy. And I'm gonna back up so you guys can see it. And I have it on with the shoes. I hope you can see that. Choppy's laying there. Um, nothing about this is my style. Yeah, I am not liking this because I am so conscious about my arms being totally out. I mean, some people may like it, it's just not my style. When I figured a max, I figured like a flutter sleeve, um, kind of a, a flatter pattern or even a fun pattern besides the paisley kind of. I know my age, but you guys, this is much older than I was expecting. All right, let's check out outfit number okay, two. Hey, you guys. Here's outfit in top and skirt. Now, this top is really cute up here. The weird thing is, every time your arm moves, it feels like your bra strap is falling. You know how it kind of slips off your arm sometimes and it catches right there? That's what this feels like. It's a weird feeling. And this right here um, accentuates the breast a little too much because it gathers right here. This part's very pretty in the bottom part and it's so wrinkly because it was in the box. 
it's hard to see. Now I've got it on with the skirt. I'm gonna back up as much as I can here. So I've got it on with the skirt and I got it on with the shoes. And let me tell you, nothing is doing it for me out of this whole stitch fix. So I'm gonna raise the skirt up and it's got this really high waisted, I don't know what to do with it. So like, do you tuck the shirt in? You know, I'm not quite sure. Ooh, that um, is not, oh, that's the tag. So it's very unflattering. I mean, I suppose if you're, I just don't think long skirts like this are in right now. Yeah, it's not very flattering. And I don't know what to do with this piece right here. I mean, I'm, I suppose you can tuck it in like this. I don't know. It's very, um, the material is not a breathable material. This is like a, a really soft, it's not like a cotton, it's something else but it's really soft. And I'm sure it's not bad once it's ironed. It's probably not a bad top, but like I said, this, with this part right here, it accentuates your, your breast and your chest. So I feel like anything that brings more to me, I don't like, and I always feel like my bra is falling. Up here, is it darling? Yes. And I'll turn around so you can see. Oh, you can see the tags there, for sure. So you can see the back. That's the back of it. Really cute. I, I like that. That's cute. But, I don't know. It's going to take some time. Maybe with some like really cute shorts, it'd probably be cute. You know, tucked in some shirt, excuse me, tucked in some shorts with the brown belt. And let me tell you guys, so I tried on these jeans, and I'm in the spare bedroom because the lighting is so much better. I tried on these jeans, now they're too light, like the coloring, like see how the light part right there, I know they say it's supposed to help with slimming, but it doesn't with me. It accentuates my butt because it's real light, and then it accentuates my thighs. I've tried on a pair of jeans like this before, wrong spots for the um, highlights. And since the other parts aren't dark, dark enough, it really looks funny and this is it's flared but it needs to be all the way to the bottom you know it needs to go past my ankles not above my ankles for this because it makes my legs look like they stop right there um you guys i'm not going to try these on for you i looked so hideous in these it was embarrassing like i put them on and i was embarrassed for myself so these are definitely a no-go you know like if you're in the store you wouldn't buy them you try them on and be like oh not everything is gonna look great on you and these were not now these things are okay but this outfit just like this is too old could you tuck it in yeah but it's a long skirt and I don't have a shape or anything on so it feels like it's pretty bulgy like it shows and I don't know what you're supposed to do with this top um these shoes are okay. I don't know if you can see them. These shoes are okay. They're not my style. That's not, I like them taller than this. These are not my style at all. Ugh. I'm sorry, you guys. I am not thrilled with this stitch fix. Let me know what you guys think. That's all I have, right? Because I had skirt, top, maxi dress and jeans and shoes so that's it let's go talk about this stuff and see how expensive it is okay you guys i am all done i'm back with my little sheet to tell me how much piper wants to get on my lap she's sitting there like hold on guys come on come on pipes good girl okay <laughs> I don't know why she thinks every time I do this, oh, and I've got shorts on, or her little toenails are digging into my legs. Woo! Piper, sit still, honey. All right. Ah, Pipey. Oh, okay. I got to put her down. She is tearing up my legs. Oh, gosh. So she might sit down there and bark. Okay. 
Piper. Okay, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, you guys. Piper! No. Stop it. Stop it. Be a big girl. So the um frayed him straight jeans. Those are 148. Mm -mm. I'm not even doing it. Piper! Alright. Okay, honey, sit still if you're gonna sit up here in mommy's lap. Please. I am so sorry, you guys. Okay, the jeans, 148. I'm not doing them. Sorry. Um, the suede sandals, the violet and reds, they're in taupe, and those were a seven and a half. They were the size and everything was fine. They're just not my style at all. They made my foot feel real super flat. Those were $89. And they were suede, so I don't know. It's just, they just weren't my style. Nice coloring, but not my style. Okay, so the, um, the knit maxi skirt, and that was in navy. That was $48. That's a really good price. But it's not for me, but it was $48, so that is a good price. The um, detailed knit maxi dress. That was also a navy. That was 88. Nah, I wouldn't buy it even if it was. Eh, I don't know. It's not my style either, you guys. I don't know if I'm just having a hard time, but I just didn't like it on me. Very ill-fitting. $88. And the eyelet top that I have on. See, it's cute when I'm just sitting here. You don't have to see the bottom. That's really cute. That is $64. That is $64. Hmm. If anything I'm going to keep, it's probably the um, the top that I'm wearing. If I'm going to keep something, I don't like anything else, you guys. I hope you guys feel the same way. I am feeling so super picky right now. But I'm going to have to put another note in. Yes, I like maxis, but I like more of an arm, like a flutter sleeve or a um, cap or a Peter Pan or I don't know, something. And I like to be a little, um, thanks pipes, I like to be a little edgy. They just went totally off from what I had. I used to get really good stuff. Like before I started showing you guys, I was getting like leather jackets and all kinds of really cute stuff. Really cute shoes that I have from other Stitch Fixes that are just adorable. It's just totally off the grid now. So let's see how much all that was. I dropped the paper because I'm holding Piper. I'm trying to keep her from moving. So all together that was 307 and the shipping was free. And if I keep everything, no, excuse me. I always do this. I go right to the main price. So everything was $327. And if I keep everything, it will be $307. Well, so if I keep this white top, it's $64. It will be $44. I might do that. It's a cute, I mean, it's a cute top. I just... I got to think about it and try it on with some other jeans and like maybe my like higher heels and a cute outfit and just to see what I look like with like just a cute pair of my other shorts that are just my summer shorts like a khaki pair of shorts or something something is just this whole stitch fix is wrong okay enough of me blabbering you guys I am so glad you guys came by check this out you looked at my June stitch fix with me Piper's trying to give me kisses. Thank you. Thank you, Piper. Good girl. She's going to go get a haircut on Saturday. She won't look so shaggy. I'm going to do before and after pictures of these guys on my Instagram because they are shaggy. Okay, back to this. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Please like. And I'm so glad you guys came and checked this out. And give me some comments about this. What do you guys think? Should I get a new stylist? Should I just leave some notes? What's up, right? Okay, until the next time, you guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye. God, I believe I'm a soldier. We play hide and seek till you draw. Love ain't got nothing on me, bad boy.